to each and every one of you. Happy New Year. We're uh, off on a walk. It's that uh, little bit of no man's land between Christmas and New Year that uh, you can't wait to end. So we start the New Year fresh. Um, we've moved on a little bit today and yesterday. So we're at the uh, north side of Leighton Buzzard heading towards Milton Keynes. Popped into Leighton Buzzard yesterday, didn't we? Really liked it. Yeah, nice little town. Yes, uh... a, a, a nice old market square there. So, uh, yeah, had a good Christmas. And uh, just the two of us on Christmas Day. Had we did lovely... actually get dressed in the end, didn't we? We didn't stay in pyjamas <laughs> all day long, but we didn't yeah. do very much. No, we did just slob around and uh, watch a bit of television on the laptop. <laughs> a few comedy things, but uh, then uh, had uh, a visit from my brother yes. and his wife. Yes. Uh, I had a bit of a party that day. We did have a party, one o'clock in the morning. That's the latest we've been up for. Whoa, I don't know how long. <laughs> this is the last time we were up at one in the morning. <laughs> normally the last we... time your brother came, probably. <laughs> <laughs> normally we wake up at one in the morning, can't get back to sleep. So uh, yeah, it was a good time. And uh, so now we're planning the year ahead, thinking about the boat, what we want to do, when we want to do it in terms of painting and getting it out of the water, etc. Well, we've had a couple of really lovely boats past us this morning, haven't we? Really yes. smart and uh, really got boat we've had envy. a little bit of boat envy and we keep thinking, can we afford to upgrade? But we, we're not in a position to do that, don't want to at the moment. We just want to finish off making this boat our own. So, yeah. Yeah, so we're, I think we're ready, aren't we now? We've had a year of, a year just a fun really, haven't we? I could have yeah. done a couple of bits, but we've just been getting it out of our system. That's not to say we won't have fun this year. Oh, that did but, <laughs> <laughs> but I think we both feel we've got to start ticking a few little jobs off the list, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. I know we keep saying that, don't we? <laughs> I know. Anyway. So, uh, as we say, Happy New Year, yep. and uh, see you next time. And looking forward to doing lots of uh, new videos for you. We'll, we've had a bit of a rest, haven't we? Yeah. But sorry, I've, you've said goodbye yeah, now, I and know. I've started again. <laughs> <laughs> you can say goodbye again. But, yeah, we had a little bit of a break over Christmas, so sorry if we've not got round to answering some of your comments, but we just felt we needed a few days just completely to ourselves. Yeah, I haven't lifted the lid on the laptop for a week. So thank so. you so much for, <laughs> for all your lovely Christmas messages and I wish you, ba oh, wish you all Happy New Year, happy cruising if you have a boat and happy dreaming and watching if you don't and uh, that's it. We finished. I shut up now. <laughs> 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 What was you just saying, Rich? What? I said I'm sure the engine sounds a lot better. Why would that be then? Well, you read in the Barris manual last night because... Uh, <laughs> a bit of bedtime reading. To do. <laughs> <laughs> On these long winter nights, reading the Barris Shire engine. Engine manual, and it said, uh, uh, after every how many hours, I don't know, rev the engine in gear as hard as it will go for 15 minutes. Make sure you're tied up safely first. You can't do that when you're cruising along the canal because uh, the wash it creates. Anyway, we were just moored up, filling up with water, and uh, it was concrete both sides of the canal, more or less. So we cranked it 3,000 revs, but I didn't do it for 15 minutes. It was the whole boat was shaking, things were falling <laughs> off shelves. <laughs> it was horrible inside. <laughs> But it's supposed to burn off all the deposits and the carbon, or I don't know, whatever, but it has to clean so, off yeah, yeah. the smoke and stuff. And it did smoke lots, didn't it? Yeah, but it's not smoking now. And it would normally give a bit of a smoke out, wouldn't it? It would, yeah. Uh, I was just saying to Fran, you all, we always say this, when your car's had a good run out or it's done the car good. <laughs> I swear the engine sounds better than it did before. Anyway, we now need to concentrate because we're coming up to the turning on the wind over arm. This is where we are, Bourbon Junction. Some beautiful boats down here, absolutely gorgeous.
gorgeous. It's a bit of a tight turn this one, so uh, full concentration required. <laughs> Apparently the Wendover arm was created to provide water from the springs in the Chiltern Hills to feed this canal. And ironically, it was closed in 1904 uh, because it leaked so much. But only a mile and a half of it so far, I think, is uh, restored. And there's a big project to restore the rest of it. So we'll show you coming up what it's like. Fortunately, there are no locks as well, which is nice because it's freezing cold today. We'll be back here probably in a couple of days, maybe tomorrow. We'll be heading through. There's a whole stream of locks, one after the other, I think, going down this little bit, going back down hill again. But this is where we're going today. And it looks, we had a little look last night at a walk up and it looks really pretty. We're a 50 foot boat and this is a bit tight. You wouldn't want to have to get a 70 foot boat around here or a wide beam. I think you'd really struggle. Well, I would. Lovely little old, old boatyard there or a dry dock. Still working. There we go. And here's our message, one and a half miles of lock free cruising. Well navigated, Captain. Well, there's 48 hour mooring at the end, so I think we'll take advantage of that 48 hours. I think, mind you, in winter time, all bits are off and it's two weeks anyway, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's unless it says otherwise, it's two, uh, two weeks anywhere on the canals. I think 48 hours will do us. Yeah. Well, it's a right bendy little canal. And uh, already had Fran in the bushes. Not the stuffing out of me now, look. <laughs> oh, shit, it's blowing away. Plastic, that is. I know. It's a, a right old windy shallow canal. We've been in the bank twice. I'm going to take that camera away from you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> We've been almost grounded, scraping the bottom. But it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. The scenery around us is beautiful and makes such a nice change, doesn't it? To be the only ones on a canal by the looks We've of it. We've only seen two boats today. We walked quite a long way along the canal back to the boat today and only passed two boats all day. Yesterday I think there was a fuel boat and one other boat. It's so quiet. The day before, oh yesterday whilst we were DIYing. It's so quiet. I guess in the summer it's all just be busy 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 even here. I don't know. Yeah. Still, this is what it's all about isn't it? Exploring every nook and cranny we can. Oh, look at those slums! Look at those! Look at that! <laughs> Can't you go back for me? Uh, Fran's after some slows. Because the last slow gin we had kind of leaked out the bottle. <laughs> it's too late to make some for Christmas now, but we could have it for our birthdays in February. I bet you it's now. not too late for Christmas to just give them a good prick. Yeah. Just give it a good shake every day. I did the last expedition into the bush bushes. <laughs> In between getting my coats on, I managed to pick a couple and they're fantastic. They're really soft because apparently once the frost gets on the slows, they're sweeter and they make the best gin. And we had a real thick frost last night. So, uh, oh, we're going to have to pull right, over. Next lot you see, we'll pull in. <laughs> Beautiful. Not so.
like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together oh, That's better It's so beautiful You and me Meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. Beautiful start to the day here on the Wendover arm of the Grand Union. It's a lovely stretch of canal. And today is the first sign of ice on the canal water itself. This is what a canal looks like under restoration. It looks like they're making pretty good progress actually. Uh, I think they've got big issues with bridges up ahead. Um, I don't know when it's proposed to be complete, but there's ongoing work. And uh, we're on this bridge. They're the names of the vol volunteers and or benefactors, I suppose. Yeah, wonderful thing. Amazing. Now we're on the move again, it's a really blustery day, wind's throwing the boat about, but uh, we want to get going down the Aylesbury Arm, just a couple of miles and uh, just for a change of scenery. But this little bridge here, this double bridge, I have to excuse the wind noise, uh, it was built because the intention was when the canals were built here, that that was going to be uh, two locks here, one either side, uh, obviously to help through traffic, but it never materialised, so we've got this uh, interesting structure remaining. So we're going to do about five or six locks today, and uh, hopefully not get blown about too much. And the Aylesbury Arm, interestingly enough, has narrow locks, so uh, just room enough for one boat. So it's nice to quick and easy locks to do and uh, boat won't be bashing around from side to side like it does sometimes. So not only this is a narrow lock, it's also a staircase. So middle gate separates the two locks, no pound in the middle. So Fran's at the bottom making sure the bottom one is empty before we can fill it with the water from the top lock.
What have you got in your hand? Since when did you need secateurs to operate a lock? That's essential. You don't know if there's something overhanging like hazel catkins that are in the way of the towpath. And would make a great little Christmas tree for the boat. I did see lovely holly with berries there, but it was in somebody's garden. So <laughs> I thought I'd better leave it. <laughs> It's open paddle left up and uh, this is the result an empty pound so need to go up to that lock start putting water in hopefully there's enough water in the locks above it to send down it's the 23rd of December and this is the last thing we need we're making good progress we need to be at the junction because that's where we want to be and uh, for a pump out so uh, here goes, let's see what happens. I got a feeling that the pound's too big. It's gonna take some doing. Oh, great. That's really amazing. That has started filling within about 15 seconds, 30 seconds, and it's, uh, I thought we'd be for hours, but we must watch that top pound, hun. The next one up. We'll get this filled up and then we'll go up to the next one and see what the pounds, because this, this pound's gonna drain at this rate, isn't it? They were overflowing. When we came down this way, do you remember? Yeah. Top, they were flooding and overflowing, weren't they? They were. We were told to leave gates open, even though nothing was nothing said that on the gates. But local people told us they like you to leave the paddles up yeah. at the bottom. Well, we've only been doing that yeah. on gates, on locks that have specifically instructed us to. The thing is that there's no boats moving. We've seen one boat today, so nobody there's obviously knows, a problem somewhere here, isn't there? Anyway. Great hat. It's keeping me cosy and warm. 